Hi, everybody. It's Chris for the Cloverdale Transit Authority. And, uh, well, it's been a little bit since I turned out a video, maybe uh, earlier in January. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, and just from a, from a model railroad standpoint uh, or train collector standpoint, um, a lot of stuff going on. I've got a couple videos that are in the works, but I'm waiting for some parts. So I really couldn't finish those videos, but we got kind of a thing that'll hold you over in the meantime. <laughs> uh, and uh, obviously, uh, we're still trying to get the Christmas decorations down. Uh, we usually do that at the end of January, beginning of February anyway. But uh, so this still looks like it's a holiday video. Technically, it's not. Uh, anyway, so one of the things, and I'll, I'll, I'll insert a couple of shots of it here. Uh for Christmas, I got one of the Holy Grails, something I've wanted for years and years, is the 1947 Brunswick Green Lionel GG1. And uh, that was just super exciting to get that. It's beautiful. It's completely you know, been completely restored. And so to go with that, one of the things that I started hunting at some of the train shows that we've had is the Madison passenger cars. They're like a, uh, you know, the the... The, the reddish brown color um, passenger cars, you know, the uh, from you know from 1946, 47, and I'll tell you, every single one of them that I would find at train show was beat to hell. Uh, looked on some of the auction sites, again, beat to hell and very expensive, and I thought, well, this is kind of frustrating. Um, so I. Uh, I was talking to a friend of mine who um, uh, lives over in Virginia, and uh, he said, "You know, I've got uh, I've got the Rail King MTH passenger cars that are modeled after those Madison cars, and they're great. They've got a complete detail interior, and those would look really, really good running behind that Post War GG1. And uh, of course, you know, it's it, it's in the." The rusty brown color. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. There's an official name for that. I'm sure you guys will say it in the in the comments. But uh, I I thought, well, you know, I, I'm kind of looking for the. He goes, let me send you a picture, and he did. He goes, I've I've got a bunch of these. He goes, if you want this set, it's yours. And so you know, we, we kind of struck a deal on how we were going to go about uh, doing this. And so here they are today, uh, and I'm going to open them up here, and we're going to take a look at them, and then we're going to put them behind the GG1 on the, the tracks that are still underneath the Christmas tree. That's been the advantage of not taking uh, the Christmas decorations down is the fact that we... Uh, <laughs> We can still run trains under the tree since we, we don't have a permanent layout just yet. So, oh boy. I'll tell you what, this is this is a pretty big box. So, um, this set is, I believe, what is this? It's, I forget how many passenger cars, but there they are. Uh, this is really cool. So, the 027 Madison Passenger Cars Rail King. Uh, and we're going to get them out of the box so you can see them. So here is the uh, Madison baggage car. Uh, you see that? Then there's the two-pack in here. Let me make sure we're getting all of this on camera. Let's do that. So this is the uh, uh, passenger and uh, combination diner car uh, that came in the, the add-on two-pack for this. So there's three. Number four here is the uh, just another passenger car. Number five is a passenger car. And then number six, this is the observation car. And uh, I can tell, I mean, you guys can't tell because it's kind of tough looking <laughs> through the plastic, but these really are pretty, really are pretty. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they are essentially MTH's version of those mid to late 1940s passenger cars, uh, the Madison passenger cars that went with uh, the GG1 or were, were sold in, in some of the sets with the GG1. So, but these are even better because they have beautifully uh, detailed and lit interiors. Um, Tim did send me a picture of one of them sitting on the tracks lit up. And I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're, we're going to do this. So uh, anyway, let me get at least one of these out of the box and let's take a look at it. Okay, uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the observation car out of here because to me the observation car along with the dome car vista vista dome car is always the coolest coolest car so and these have been run i mean they're not brand new but you know i mean really unless you're beating the hell out of them i mean what's the difference here uh <laughs> all right well that's beautiful i can already tell them boy they are they are weighty, uh, yeah. So here, let's let me make sure I've got that on camera here. Yeah. So let me uh, let me get a uh, get this out here and, and kind of take a look at it, and let's talk about it. All right. Well, one of the things that I noticed very similar to kind of the pass the tooling for passenger cars. Um, from Lionel, and I, I, I've looked at these Madison cars, the original Madison cars, and a lot of the Lionel tooling for that style of uh, of passenger car is very similar. I have some 1970s um, uh, Milwaukee Road passenger cars. Some of you who watch the channel may have seen those running, and it's, it has the exact same tooling as the original Madison cars from. 46, 47, and this is very similar, but it, it is much more detailed. So this is the the observation car. So it's got the little observation deck on the back. Uh, it's got, you know, six wheels on both trucks. That's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, you know, working couplers and so forth. And then on the ends here, it's a lot of, a lot of, styrofoam on there, but on the ends, they got the little rubber baffles, uh, door transitions, and brake wheels. There's separately applied metal grab irons in there. Got this detailed paint job. And also one of the things I noticed, it has the little, what I call light bright uh, lan uh, marker lanterns on this on both sides. And basically it went through the little hole and then whatever was Lighting up on the inside, you know, it kind of passed through kind of like a little light bright peg and it it kind of glowed. So that's a kind of a cool throwback to Lionel. Okay, and so just real quickly, I know it kind of flashed these by the camera real fast, but you can see the uh, the item number, at least on the observation car. And uh, these are Rail King, uh, uh, the Rail King series made by MTH, which means they are semi-scale. It'll look great, again, running behind the Lionel post War semi-scale GG1. And these came out in 1997. I think, well, this one came out in 1997, but I think the whole set probably did too, I, I would imagine, was probably in their 1997 catalog. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, I love the Rail King stuff. Again, it's it's 027, it'll run on that, that kind of track, but uh, I know that, you know, a lot of my friends out there, you're scale only people, that stuff is beautiful too, but, uh, running stuff with post-war engines, uh, you know, this really, really, uh, looks great. And, and, you know, with it being semi-scale, it's, it all kind of fits together. So, uh, anyway, yeah, so let's, uh, let's take a look and see what these look like on the track behind the GG1. Okay, it kind of blabbed on about this long enough. Here it is. It's on the tracks. So it looks great. We're going to see some running footage. If you like this video, make sure you do all the YouTube stuff. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. We'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.